you pretty much need a two inch wheel spacer which i went with one and a half inch wheel space now we'll reinstall the sway bar line Welcome back to After Hours Automotive today. I have a simple, quick one for you. Um, I have my, as you guys who see my channel know, my 2003 Yamaha V-Star 650. And um, today I'm going to do a short review slash how the installation works on $27.90 and 90 something cent crash bars off of eBay. Um, so if you've done any looking for crash bars for your, they're all the same, like, I don't know, late 90s through 2000 and whenever they made this V-Star, um, you can order, I want to say, Lind, oh, I could get in and find out all the names for you, but there are several brand name crash bars that cost between 200 and 300 dollars depending on where you're at and how much your shipping is going to cost um that they offer for this bike uh for you guys who don't know crash bars or highway bars like they're called are these guys right here um it's a bar that just sticks out to the side it's to protect all this whenever you lay the bike over if you lay the bike over um it's to protect all this and it gives you, you they, have, they make ones for the side and back and all that but anyway it mainly protects your engine and your um, feet controls as you can see on this side it sticks out just I mean your foot peg will fold up but um, that sticks out to protect your brake lever and on this side your shift lever is inside this bar now and the lowest point it can reach is right here. Again, your uh, foot peg will fold in the event of an accident. This is not exactly what we're talking about, but these are uh, also just foot pegs that I've installed um, to the crash bars. Uh, these range in, I'll go ahead and tell you that the foot pegs range in price. Um, you can find ones that are like $150. I don't know what's the exact different maybe they have a um a nicer way of clamping these here were 40 bucks for the pair got one on this side and one on this side well the main reason we're here today is not to talk about the foot pegs or really um the installation so much but if you go on and look for crash bars for your bike, you're going to see that all the name brand American stuff is like $200 plus. Um, and on a bike that I didn't pay, oh, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag, $1,500 for. Um, I didn't want to put, and I, I've been looking at doing some upgrades and stuff. So far, I've got the stereo system on and the led lights you can look at my other video and see all this this isn't really about all that but when i was looking at putting crash bars on and the main reason for the crash bars yes it protects your foot controls in the event that you lay the bike over but why do people really put crash bars on here it's because this position here gets tiresome when you ride for an hour or however long with this um same you know geometry going on with your body your legs get tired your butt starts to get to go numb um so primarily the reason you're going to find people installing crash bars or highway bars is for this purpose right here or however you do it whatever your whatever you want to call it is to kick your feet up um they're cra the the uh bar themselves are referred to mostly as crash bars 
But these guys here are referred to mostly as highway pegs. And that's because once you get in fifth gear, you don't need to be shifting anymore. You're on the interstate, so you can use the engine for your braking. You kick your feet up. You don't need these controls anymore. You don't need to shift. So you kick your feet up here and relax and cruise and sit back and enjoy the ride, more or less. Um, but is it worth the $200 just to get the crash bar so that you can install your $40 pegs on your motorcycle? Um, just kind of going into that just a tad bit more. Um, I was looking at replacing the seat because this one, if you look at this, is very flat. There's nowhere for your butt to actually, you, you sit on this seat, not in it. And um, I'm looking around and Ultimate Seats has one, Mustang has one. But to get one with the backrest and the sissy bar and all this is like $500. The Ultimate Seats, $900. Um, so for a thousand fifteen hundred dollar motorcycle, it's hard to make that call that you're gonna install a you know nine hundred dollar piece of equipment. Um, still, is it cheaper than getting a twenty thousand thirty thousand dollar Harley? Yes. Is it gonna make it more comfortable? Yes. But I fear that this motorcycle with nineteen thousand one hundred and fifty three miles may not last to make it worth it. It's a six fifty. It does 75 comfortably, but if you do 85, it's screaming. And um, we've taken it to Florida and to Chattanooga and all this. You can look at the other videos and see, but um, I don't really want to put like $3,000 in a bike that I don't even have that much in the motorcycle. Um, I just did the stator replacement and the pickup cool and all that. And uh, that was an $800 project, but I wanted it back running. And then I do feel like it has some life in it, but I didn't want to put you know a thousand dollar seat with the crash bars and all the stuff you have to put them on if you go with the two hundred dollar ones and all that and the foot pegs it was going to be two hundred and seventy five dollars so that leads me to say i found these guys here for thirty dollars not even thirty dollars twenty seven dollars and some change found them on ebay I was looking around for some stuff, for some crash bars, and I kept seeing on all the, you know, American websites, they were like $200, this, $200, that. It goes up from there. And, um, I couldn't see, I, I couldn't bring myself to spend $200 just to get crash bars. Now, there's an important distinction between these crash bars and the $200 crash bars. And I'm going to show that to you first real quick. These guys here are two pieces so you have one here and one on this side that's the main difference between these $27.99 or $27.97 and $200 on the $200 ones this bar goes actually I'll take that back on, on the $200 ones this still mounts somewhere in this general area but the bottom bar goes all the way across and connects so it's one piece it's more rigid i mean this isn't you're just kicking your feet up on it i mean yes it's a crash bar if you roll over lay it over you would hope that it could save uh some of your chrome and some of your factory parts but realistically this is expected to hold the weight of your feet and your legs which it does for 27 dollars 27 dollars and some change so I'm missing this bar that goes between here and I'll tell you that that other one looks like it bolts right here to the engine mount rather than out here on the sides but you're talking about 10% of the cost well, almost a little more than 10% of the cost to effectively do the same thing I did this because I wanted to be able to be comfortable riding longer distances I want to be able to kick my feet up so for 27 bucks and 40 bucks for the pegs, I'm in $70 and I'll go into this just a little bit with you. Um, but in long story short, I'm in like 75 bucks total for everything instead of 275. So it, it, it was a easy call for me. Now my main question 
was that, and you guys can go look, type in, uh, I typed in 2003 Yamaha V-Star 650 crash bars on Google. And it brings up a whole slew of different ones that you can buy, but it does bring up these. And you're gonna see them with a link to an eBay page. And if you go to that eBay page and you look at the picture that they show for these bars, they show these bars off the motorcycle with the dimensions laid out, the dimensions this way, this way. I mean, they show it all laid out, laying on a white screen. But the picture they show you with these installed on the motorcycle, it's not these bars. The ones they show you in the picture are the American version with the crossbar and it's mounted right here. So it's kind of misleading. And I was really looking close at it whenever I was buying it because I didn't just want to waste the money. But I didn't want to just go spend $200 without giving the $30 option a chance. So, the main difference, other than where they bolt and the fact that this tube is missing, these are made, I guess, for multiple motorcycles or whatever. Because when you install these, you have to remove this bolt and the one on the top over there and these are these bolts go through and they have nuts on the back of them so you can put i mean it does take away a little bit of the threads but again it's just supporting the weight of your legs the hard part on this is on the bottom and it tells you in these instructions that you have to install a spacer in between the rail the crash bar and the frame now excuse me because i had to go to home depot in order i wanted to put these on bolt them down and see how they felt and looked before i spent too much money but home depot didn't have aluminum spacers long enough and uh in large enough diameter for what i needed so all they had was these nylon spacers this is going to wear out and it really is not the best thing to tighten this down real good you can see it's bowed out a little bit where i cranked it down pretty tight with the impact gun also since you're moving this out so far you have to get yourself a longer bolt which also was able to get from home depot um but you're gonna have to fetch a bolt and a spacer and this side is really the good side this is only a one inch spacer and this bolt is one inch longer than the factory one on this side you have to put two inches of space between it and a two inch longer bolt which again excuse my nylon spacers i have in here but um it works 27.99 or whatever 40 dollars foot pegs and i'm in business <clears throat> but the main reason i wanted to make this video is for someone who's considering getting these cheaper bars um when i installed these i will tell you I had to install this bolt first because it is threaded into the frame. There is no nut on the back. There's threads in the frame. So when you install this, I found the easiest way is to loosely install this bolt and make sure you're grabbing threads first. And then come up and you're going to have to bend the, you're going to have to pull up and bend this to even get it to reach that bolt hole because it is cheaply made. I'm pretty sure that they're universal. They probably say that they fit a variety of motorcycles. There's actually a sheet on there that tells you what they'll fit. Um, but you'll have to install this bolt first to make sure you catch threads. And this bolt is put in place of a bolt that was already there. Like this one. Same on the other side. Um, but you're going to have to pull up on this. And I had to get that bolt started and then just hammer it through where i could get the nut on the back of it so it's not a perfect fit but in all actuality for 75 dollars total and th this is the main reason for this video because the picture they show online on ebay for the sale of these is not the same bar that you're actually getting and i was aware of that when i i saw the picture of the bars they were showing i saw the picture on the bike I knew it was misleading, but I still thought it was worth a try, and it was.
because I've been riding around for two days with these on here now. I have a nice comfortable place to put my feet and I'm happy. I'll end up putting a steel or aluminum spacer right here in the future, I'm sure. But, and, and it's really not the prettiest thing to have to put these spacers in like this, especially on the other side with two inches of gap. But, $75 versus $275, I wanted to show you guys what these things really look like on here. I've browsed Google Images for hours and hours trying to see if I could find this actual set now that I have it in my hands on the motorcycle. And I haven't been able to find one that looks exactly the same. So I wanted to give you guys a nice view of how these things actually look on the motorcycle. So here's you a view from the front. I'll give you a little walk around. what they actually look like on the bike now, this is a side note but i have to say if you ever go and get yourself a motorcycle that's not a harley because everyone wants a harley get yourself a yamaha harley a yamaha harley v star 650 um i have guys all the time i was at Publix the other day at the pub getting some groceries some veggies for the fajitas and there were several people coming through the parking lot um that were like oh man that's a beautiful motorcycle that's really nice I, I know i need to clean it i'm saying all this and i've got unpolished chrome and all this but in any case oh that's a beautiful motorcycle that's nice man i bet you have fun on that thing and what really sets this motorcycle apart from your other economy grade motorcycles and this is only a 650 is that v style engine i know i'm showing you the crash bars here that you get a good look at that but that v style engine really sets the motorcycle apart from having a straight four cylinder like a crotch rocket on a cruiser or the other styles that you can get and it really has a characteristic sound i know this is going to drown me out but Um, it has that instead of which I'm going to tell you now I have my baffles removed that requires like a two and a half inch hole saw and then you have to take a metal rod and smash the baffle out of there and rip it out and all this that's a whole other video but it has a really nice characteristic sound of instead of your inline four cylinder or however many cylinders are on those like a suzuki boulevard and the ones that just sound like vroom, vroom. you don't get that but on the v-star it's really a nice sounding motorcycle and i'm just going to add this in here i had the guy at uh the grocery store the other day he said um man that's beautiful i bet you have fun on that and on and on and i said let me just ask you for curiosity i said you tell me how much you thought i paid for this and i'll be honest with you and he said 22 i said 22 what he said thousand i said 1500 bucks he said no way and i was like uh yeah it's not a harley i didn't spend twenty thousand dollars on a motorcycle but for the sound quality and the ride i mean the only thing i say the seat is uncomfortable i'm pretty sure most stock motorcycle seats are so are uncomfortable and that's why mustang is doing so good and now they have this ultimate seats with uh they make seats for all kinds of stuff but um your side by sides jet ski i mean they had a whole list of everything they'd make seats for and apparently they make everything out of memory foam um but i mean to get you around have a nice ride i mean it's a good looking bike it really is 
and again i say that v style engine really sets it apart from other economy motorcycles and i've had several people do the guest test and say hey just how much do you think i paid for it and i've had nine thousand thirty thousand twenty two thousand no one's guessed under ten thousand dollars except for like around nine thousand i mean someone no one has guessed that this motorcycle could possibly only have cost two thousand dollars or less and the lady was actually asking 1900 for it and i said i'll come get it right now if you'll take 1500 and it was at the motorcycle shop getting the carbs rebuilt and i went and picked it up from there it came with the windshield the bags the everything but the lights the stereo i've got a new set of tires on here i think i've put two front tires and one rear tire something like that on it um since i've had it but it's a good bike um and i know i'm here to talk about these crash bars but you know for 75 bucks for the whole i mean that's including the pegs and for your 200 hundred dollar kit plus shipping and the shipping on these was like nothing because they come in a box i can't i don't have two hands but it's a tiny little box i mean they're folded together and in this foam wrap stuff so this chrome doesn't get damaged which again for quality i mean there's some little nicks on them that's definitely damage in the metal that they just chromed over but it totally served my purpose i'm satisfied i can kick my feet up it's much more comfortable they don't look terrible to the average person who doesn't really worry so much about motorcycles they just walk by and say oh that's a good looking bike they're not going to notice the difference i mean it's a little less stout than the one piece i mean you get a little bit of flexibility there but again it's to hold the weight of your legs and in my opinion i would buy these again go on ebay find the 27 dollar and change crash bars the pictures of them that are on the white screen will look like this it's just a curved bar and i mean i was being that they're universal and all that i was just really fearing they were going to come in and i wasn't even going to be able to install them but it's a little off like i said you gotta bend a little bit here and wedge the bolt in and such and such but beyond that once you get it installed it's really a good deal i think i'm sure and I, i'm gonna say the 200 dollar version and i saw these go up like i say 300 dollars, 270 i mean there's different brands out there but i'm sure that those do look better i know that they're a little taller there's a little they're a little bigger loop they are more sturdy because they're connected it's a one piece but for something to throw your feet up on i mean this isn't a bad deal i would buy these again well you guys y'all have a good one thanks for watching after hours automotive be sure to like subscribe share do all that stuff check out our facebook um if you need automotive service in the west georgia area we are an on-site complete mechanic service um thanks for watching catch you next time Jack Daniels, always. Scott's over here cutting wood. This is our makeshift fire pit.
bacon and eggs and biscuits on this here Pantages fire. Alright guys, be sure and hit that like button if you like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment if there's anything you'd like to see in the near future. Thanks. See ya.